What's up, Calvin Gang? Today we got this uh, vector field problem. So it gives us this vector field here, f of x, y, and it wants us to evaluate basically like the force of our curve that goes through it. So how are we going to do this? Uh, well, we just need to know an equation basically, and then we can solve it. All right. So our equation for this is you want to, it's going to be the integral from t is equal to you know the first t to the second t, so it's going to be zero to one. Uh, this mark is kind of dead. How's this one? Okay, so it's going to be this vector. This is a perfect marker. All right, so it's going to be, you know, x, y squared. So it's going to be the f of x, y, uh, negative x squared, dotted with our uh, velocity vector, but the, the derivative of it. So let's go ahead. Uh, you, guys can, you guys know what this is, all right? The derivative of the t to the third is 3t squared, and then the t squared is 2t, obviously, dt. All right, but we got a problem here, right? Our problem is that we got x and y in here. So uh, to change change over from x and y to terms of t, we just use what they've given us already, which is this term equation. And basically what this tells us is that x is equal to t to the third, and y is equal to t squared. So if we just go ahead and change that. Uh, also, never write it like this, because it's really confusing, and it's just not proper math. All right, so t to the third times t to the squared, or t squared times t squared is t to the fourth, t to the seventh, right? And then negative x squared, so t to the, that would be negative t to the sixth, right? I'm pretty sure. And then dot that with, you know, the same thing we got over here, 2t dt. All right, now let's evaluate this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't squat today. I'm sorry. Uh, long story. Okay, so same thing, zero to one. Uh, so let's see. That's going to be three t to the ninth, right? Pretty big number. And then minus. Uh, so that's going to be two t to the seventh, right? Pretty easy. And from here, just product rule. This is equal to three over ten t. So it's going to be t to the tenth, but as you can see. This is what I like to do. I just see that it goes from 1 to 0. So obviously, t to the 10th is going to be 1, t to the 0 is going to be 0. So it's just going to be 3 tenths minus. Same thing over here to the 8th. 1 to the 8th is 8, or 1 minus 0. So it should be minus 2 to the 8th. All right, now we just got some fractions to work with. How are we going to do this? All right, so let's just uh, multiply it by common denominator. So multiply this by 8, so it's going to be 24 over 80 is equal to 20 over 80. Not so it's minus. So that's going to be equal to 4 over 80, or that is equal to 1 over 20. And that is our answer. So yeah, that's how you solve this problem. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, keep watching more videos of mine to see some more complex problems. And yeah, uh, good luck on your calc homework. Good luck on your calc tests.